This is a two wire to three wire converter. This is something that you're supposed to put on your vehicle if it puts out the same wire, the same lights when you step on the brakes as it does when you step on the turn signal. On the box, if I give both of these turn signals power at the same time, it's the same thing as like on a vehicle when you step on the brake and both of the brake light bulbs light up. So if I turn on left and right turn signal at the same time, we've got our brake lights on, right? The cool thing though, is that now if I hit the right turn signal or I hit the left turn signal, the brakes are still on. I got leaves and stuff. I wash this thing because I'm trying to sell this truck and then like I just get busy with YouTube and TikTok and then I don't sell it. I need to sell this truck. So I had a whole video that I was gonna try to do on the Lincoln Navigator, but it did stupid things and didn't work. So we're gonna do it in the workshop. I'm gonna connect this controller that goes from two wire to three wire for the brake lights and hook it up on here because my car was given weird voltage, like 10 volts and five volts, different wires. And I don't really know why it was doing that, but we're gonna first bench test this. Then we're gonna find another vehicle that's local that's not screwed up like my car. All right, so it was a disaster so far. I'm gonna to try to get organized and make this valuable to you. So I have a sequential custom setup here that I'm gonna show. I also have some brake light bulbs and I have another little strip like is used in there. I don't really know why I have this out, but it's dope. So I'll link the video right there. Watch this video if you don't know what these are. So here's our module. I'm gonna open this thing up. We're gonna show all the connections. This is exactly how to do the steps to make one of these things work if you have that stupid combo bulb that does brake light and turn signal. Ready, let's go. We've got a yellow wire and a green wire for our inputs. This is gonna be the left turn and brake and then right turn and brake. And then because you know, white ground wires make sense. We've got a wire for the ground and that happens to be white instead of black. I don't know why. Then we got our outputs here. We got yellow for left turn and then a clean brake line that does not make the turn signals flash or do anything. And then we've got green for the right turn signal. So this is what I'm gonna hook up right now. I'm gonna hook up these red LED bulbs for our brakes to simulate how that would be on the car. And then I have a sequential turn signal that we're gonna demonstrate. This is for a WRX fog light housing, but it's super dope sequential LED. If you wanted to have a cool sequential LED in taillights that came factory with a bulb that does brake and turn signal, you wouldn't be able to do it. So with this module, now you can get and start playing with different strips, whether it's a $20 Amazon strip, like that video right there has in it, or if that is something super custom with Ghost or Corso Motion, like this guy. I'm about to hook this thing up to my awesome little project box switch controller thing. I didn't make that. Everybody always asks me about it. I paid 300 bucks for it and there was like only a few of them available. If I ever find those, I will let you know. Comment below if you would like to have a little project box like that to control all the bulbs and your projects and I don't know, to use as a gimmick for your videos like I do. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So we've got our left turn signal. I'm gonna throw that in voltage here. We've got our right turn signal and I'm gonna throw that in voltage here. And then we've got our white ground wire, which I'm going to plug in right there. Okay, so here's my brake light bulbs. And on a car, if you're gonna use this module, the thing is your brake lights are gonna need to be combined. So you're gonna need to take both of the power wires that go to the brake light function on your bulbs. And you're gonna wanna bring those things together so that you can run it to the single output wire, which is this red one on the module here. So these are the two things that I'm gonna hook up. I'm just gonna use a connector on these right now to kind of simulate how it would look in the car. Okay, so the clean output for the brake lights is now connected to our LED bulbs. And then I just need to plug in our ground. So I'm just gonna use a little extra connector that I have here. And we will plug this thing in and keep these over here. So if we test this really quick, we can already see it working. Cause I don't have any turn signals hooked up. If I just do left turn signal, or I just do right turn signal, nothing happens. But if I do both at the same time, such as stepping on the brake, it sends all the power into this guy and it gives us a clean brake output. Okay, so now I'm gonna hook up the last part, which is the turn signals. That's what the whole thing was about. We wanna have a dedicated output for our turn signal. So this one right here, the yellow output wire says left. Now I have a bulb here that's already got ground connected. I'm just gonna connect the voltage wire to the module here and we can test it. And there we go. We give it power, it fires up. That thing is super freaking bright. Now have, if we wanna test again, we've got our brake lights, but then if I'm on the brakes and I hit the left turn signal, then I'm able to do that. And if you look, it's actually lighting that thing up when it doesn't have power anymore from the circuit that it normally does, right? But if I turn it off on the other side now, 
Now it turns everything off and now it only lights up when it has power. So it was the opposite. So it's literally just cutting power to it if that circuit already has power running through because of the brakes. That might sound confusing because it was confusing to say it. I don't know. That's how this stuff goes. That leaves us with one last wire, which is our right turn signal. And this is truly the reason why I'm making this video because I want to be able to run sequential turn signals. So I've got something set up right here where I've got a flasher relay. And now all I have to do is give it power. I have the output going into that flasher relay. And when I give it power this time, we've got our awesome pew pew turn signal custom that we set up with sequential LEDs. All right, so we will do one final demo showing all of the things now that you saw how I hooked them up. And then the next time I do a video like this, we'll do it on an actual vehicle. So we've got our brake lights. We get those as soon as both of the circuits are getting power at the same time. Then if we hit our left signal, we get that guy. And if we hit our right signal, we get that guy. And if we turn them both on at the same time, that just leaves us with the brakes, which kind of makes me curious. What happens if we have the hazard lights on? We'll have to wait until we actually have a vehicle here to do it. So if you have one of those vehicles and you're in SoCal, hit me up. I don't know, maybe we'll already have one lined up, but I do think that this video deserves a sequel. What do you think?